We are at Damascus Gate. Family, say hi. hi. <laughs> All right. And then let's walk down to Damascus uh, Gate. We are going through the gate, and I want you to see that, that, first of all, it's the most beautiful gate. Usually there's a market around it, but it's empty now because it's Ramadan time. It's the first or second day of the Ramadan. Then uh, no food market. At night time, it will be crowded. It will be a carnival of food. Charity, charity is one of the Ramadan things that you can see a lot of women that will ask you for a charity. Uh, before we are entering into that gate, remember that you saw uh, you saw the mother map, mother map that I show you, kind of a pillar. On top of the pillar, there was a statue of Adrian, Caesar Adrian, and uh, the Arabs called it the um, the Bab Gate, the Pillar Gate. Because it's, they're still remembering. Then let me show you something from the second century. Because what you see here is from 16th century. Let me show you a little bit of the second century gate from the time of King uh, of uh, Adrian, Caesar Adrian. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Can't you hear, please? Can you see the lower gate? Can you see it? This is uh, th that lower part. Sin and go away. Is second century. Right, let the helicopter go. Can you see it? That is the evidence for the sec second century. The story of Jerusalem is building, destroying, building, destroying. Then there's a second century. Uh, Caesar Adrian built here a beautiful gate. What actually left from that gate is only that part. Roman, Roman, totally Roman. Yeah. And this is Ottoman. And let's go through the uh, through them. The sorry, the, the, the arch. Did you see? Uh, yeah, the under entrance. And let's go through the gate. But I want you to see that it's not a regular gate. You're not going straight. Because when they build it, they thought about enemies. And if enemies will go straight into the gate, they will reach the city. And that's it. That's the end of the city. Then we will have to turn left and then right. To make it more difficult, yep. you can see the or you can see actually sol, uh, soldiers here. Actually, uh, it's not soldiers; it's a uh, yeah, military soldiers. One of them is black. Wow, a black Jew? Of course, it's not a race; it's a religion. Then say hello, shalom, shmuolat smachem achim sheli, b'seder gamur, shmuolat smachem. And again, let's study from here. If I'm not there, I'm here. Then be with me. Don't be with me. All right, here it is. They got, you got permission to take a picture. Look at, the, look at the gate from the 16th century. Look at the, the, the doors. All right, family, let's continue, please. Again, try to be with me. Not before me, not at the other side. Oops. And beware. Beware. You can see the lights above you. Whoa, shalom. Ramadan Karim, actually. Ramadan Karim. You can see the lights at night time. It's a carnival here. Jerusalem people, be here at night time. Uh, people will eat and celebrate. It will be so beautiful. What is interesting to know that uh, the Muslims are working. They are not, it's not uh, in those 30 days. They are working and fasting. They cannot drink and they cannot eat. They eat at sundown. Yes, which is uh, late, eight, eight p.m. Can you hear the bells? What's the time now? 10.30? Yeah? 10.30. All right. Who resurrects re on Sunday? Jesus. Here it is. 
At, not a lot, but in Ramadan it's more sensitive. Yeah. All right. Remember, remember my family. Uh, there will be two roads. So at the, at the map, one is the main corridor, but we are taking the left one. Then remember the minor corridor. Then let's continue with it. All right. So they keep two pieces of their hair as a symbolic measure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Some, not all of them, but a lot of a, a lot of them. And those are Hasidic Jews. Hasidic Jews. Yeah. They don't have the tassels. What is the tassels? Like the, um, no, they do, they do, but it's uh, you cannot see it because it's uh, uh, we call it the little talit. Okay. Uh, it's um, uh, what they will take out uh, the um, the, coat. the coat. You might see it, and if not, it's in their pants. And those represent like the obligation. Oh, yes, to, to God. God. Yes. yes. Yeah. This is amazing. Amazing, isn't it? And it wasn't at least it's not supposed to be part of the tour, but it is. <laughs> Hey, let me show the family. Family again, say hi. Hi. You can see great leaves. They yeah, will cook it with rice and uh, meat. And it's so delicious. So delicious. Zucchini, zucchini. Then, to work and not to eat, not easy. But it, this time it's in, in, in June, then it's not a problem. It can be a problem at, in August. All right. Yeah. All right, let's stop here for just a minute until we see everyone. But let's look above. This is the Muslim quarter, and what you see here in Israel flag, then the and the menorah, which is simple for the Jewish temple. Then let's start with that, that we are not blocking the path. Try not to block. People are walking here. Secondly, let's go to the time of Mark Twain, when he visits Jerusalem. Anyway, just let me say Ramadan Karim. Um, he, um, Mark Twain, when he came to Jerusalem, he wrote about Jeru a book about Jerusalem. It's not only Ekelberry Finn, and he said, don't go there, it's a horrible place. <laughs> but this was his hotel, and he slept here. This is the closest place that we can actually reach Mark Twain, not through his books. Secondly, you can see a menorah and a Jewish flag. This is a Jewish house. In the Muslim quarter, it actually was built and uh, was bought by our late uh, Prime Minister Ariel Sharon. Mm -hmm. And according to United Nations, is uh, a Jewish settlement in the West Bank. Mm -hmm. According to my mother, this is another Jewish house in Israel. And everyone can sit in a different way. Um, well, you, you gave me permission to talk about everything. Yes. And I'm talking about everything. <laughs> All right, let's continue, please. 